So, Olivia, I've just tasted 700 or so 2010s. Amazing tasting. From the small chateau to the greatest names, from Petrus to a small chateau in, in Castillon. There's so many amazing wines. I'm really excited. Ten, as I said, always from barrel and now again in bottle. A great vintage. What do you think about ten? The first thing is that uh, ten is coming after nine. And it's v really uh, fascinating to see how much two vintage can be different. Because uh, many people are talking about uh, techniques and human uh, factor and everything. But you can see that 10 is so different than 9, than the terroir and then the, the condition of the weather are still very important in Bordeaux. So for me, 9 is more on the feminine side, charming, easy to drink. Uh, 9 will always be good. Uh, today, in 5 years, in 10 years, in 50 years, 9 will be good. 10 is more complicated. 10 is more on the masculine side. 10 is more on the acidity, um, is more on the tannin, is more austere. But uh, it's a great wine because I love uh, this uh, definition of Bordeaux uh, when it's like that, you know. And uh, certainly that uh, uh, some years ago, if we have made 10, 20 years ago, uh, 10 will be a little bit too green. But now we know in Bordeaux how to wait for this perfect maturity mm -hmm. even in a cold vintage like 10 is. But, but one thing, a lot of people, for example, uh, the prices for some of the top wines were very high. Why are you talking about prices? <laughs> <Jeff? laughs> right. But then you go back and there's so many values in 10. Yes. There's so many wines that sold for four or five euros X seller. Yes. That probably people can find fifteen, twenty dollars if you were buying in the US or a hundred Hong Kong, two hundred Hong Kong. That's the magic of the vintage. Yes. Then then you can buy any wine, it's good. It's true. Uh, a cru bourgeois in the Medoc, uh, uh, a good uh, chateau in Entre deux Mer, two thousand ten is good. Exactly. White, red, and sweet. Uh, uh, don't uh, forget Sauterne. So, uh, for me, this is a vintage where, you know, in some vintage you have to buy the first growth because uh, it's only uh, this chateau was made the quality. But in a vintage like 2010, everything is good. Mm -hmm.